This video is sponsored by Zatafia Herbal Farm and Shop, operated by a known and respected herbalist located in Ghana. I decided to do this 30-day detox as a means to a lifestyle shift. This means I consciously decided to start this detox as a segue into the new way I want to consciously eat and interact with food. The detox is designed to flush your system, purify your blood, and balance the bacteria in your gut with herbs that are high in minerals, antioxidants, and the magic of the universe. I say this because these herbs are powerful. From activated charcoal, moringa, saba snake grass, to the homemade granola, pain cream, tinctures, and oils, all products and items are grown on a wholesome farm and used for healing. For 30 days, I will be drinking water, juicing, drinking smoothies, eating fruit, salads if need be, the granola mix provided, and nuts. While those are my options, the intention is to drink 80% more than I'm eating solid raw foods. The full package also included special made juices by Ben, the herbalist himself, but I decided I want to take on the responsibility of creating my own juices and smoothies. It's important to know how to work with what you have. So if you're feeling like you need a detox, I highly suggest reaching out to Zatafia on Instagram. I'll be sure to link the details below. Hey guys, so it's day one of my detox and I'm already feeling great. Maybe because it's a mindset thing, right? Day one stuff is one, my locks. I gave my locks a really nice wash and uh, the next is to clean the apartment and just have everything be like clean and fresh on the surface. So the skin, the hair, you know, the, ho the house, the home and um and yeah so the very first thing that i'm supposed to do is the orange infused coconut oil which is the purgative you drink half and then you drink the other half and this is really within the next like three to four hours you won't be running to the bathroom okay again coconut oil and orange peel this is all that's in here and it works like a charm my mom has been telling me anytime I have like, I'm feeling, you know, backed up. My mom's always like, take, drink some coconut oil, drink some coconut oil. So I'm, I'm kind of excited to do this one. Um, I may not do the full half of the bottle because I'm, I'm low key scared, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> we'll see how that goes. And then I'm also just waiting for my delivery guy to deliver me some bananas and avocado so I can have, um, I can make like my main smoothie for the day. The whole idea is to be completely raw and light and just simply taking in the nutrients that I need and not overeating the things I don't. I'm really excited to, um, to just feel light and ready to create. I feel like it's more of a challenge for me because when you walk out of here, you see Wache, you see Fufu, you see oh, so many things that's so good and um, to like not eat that for 30 whole days is gonna be a little tough, but <laughs> I think I got this. So this is day two of my 30 day detox. So because I didn't get to do the purgative yesterday, cause I put this in the fridge and of course it's an oil, so it, it hardened. I had to wait for it to thaw out. So I'm gonna do this today. What I was instructed by the herbalist was to drink half and then save the other half for two weeks later, but I don't think I'm gonna do half. <laughs> I'm not gonna do half because as someone else who did the detox that I know was saying that 
when they did have their kids and everyone was throwing up and the herbalist did warn me he said like there's a possibility that you might throw up and then also you know purge from the other exit um but i don't want to throw up i don't like that feeling at all so i am going to take more not half but more like maybe a quarter to a third and then i'm going to just make myself a pineapple coconut drink so i'm gonna use one of these glasses hmm, i guess i'm gonna pour until it gets somewhere around here just pineapple, coconut water, and the coconut flesh from the inside. Now, I feel like it's important that you get the harder flesh instead of like the soft jelly flesh. Um, and just throw them in there and blend it up. Now, I wish I had froze the pineapples because I feel like it would have been so much better, but this is delicious. Like, it's so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm such a nice smoothie like you have to try it excited i just booked a flight back home to toronto to visit my family as you can see i was acting a fool because i was so excited i can't wait to visit my family it has been so long so let's go Hey guys, so it's Sunday and I'm flying out tomorrow back to Toronto just for like a month and a half to visit my family, my friends, people that I love and miss and I just can't wait because I have a confession. A few times I've cried. I've cried how much I've missed my family and honestly, it's always good to miss people. I think to miss people is a blessing because you truly get to recognize their value in your life, you know? So I'm so excited, I'm so grateful. Yeah, so I'm excited. Obviously, you guys are gonna be traveling with me. Um, tomorrow morning is when I will check in with you guys again and uh, we'll be on our way from Cape Coast to Accra, from Accra to Brussels, from Brussels to Montreal, from Montreal to Toronto. So my dad and my little brother, they don't know that I'm coming. So it's a surprise and I'm excited, but okay, I'll catch you next time.
as I sit here, I just am reflecting on the first day that I got here in Ghana about one year and three days ago. <laughs> I had no idea what to expect and this last year has brought me so much. Maybe not so much physically, but I just was able to invest so much of my energy in the right spaces and places within my being. You know, as you guys hear me talk about the next phase in my life, you know, it just, it takes that energetic investment. It's almost like when you plant a, a bamboo tree and, you know, I think it takes like four years, like you don't see that bamboo tree, but in that last fifth year, the whole tree sprouts and like grows to its full capacity and that's just how I'm feeling you know so whenever you guys are having like just these very like nothing's really going on <laughs> nothing's really going on you're more introspective and you're just focusing on investing your energy in the right spaces and places like it's big work that you're doing it's inner work that you're doing and that inner work man does it make all the difference from the art market I I know I look I look <laughs> I look funny but who cares I'm about to get on a long ass flight over okay. anyways um, just came from the art center picked up some things for my dad my little brother my stepmom my mom my sister and your girl and uh, now I'm just riding around until it's time for me to go and get some food and then head to the airport so yeah ride with me
those neck thingies, you know, like go right here and um, so that way I can sleep comfortably on the plane. second flight. first flight was from Accra to Brussels and um, it was about 6 hours and 20 minutes. I slept for about 5 hours and 20 minutes. Um, probably like was awake for the first half an hour and the last half an hour which was perfect. Um, I want to say like as I was sleeping I was a little uncomfortable shifting you know what I'm saying but as long as I kept my eyes closed I know I was gonna stay asleep um, and so I'm feeling pretty okay I think I could still sleep for another three hours so I'm now waiting for um, Air Canada and we're going from Brussels to Montreal and then Montreal to Toronto and I've officially jumped portals, guys. I swear it's such a mission and it doesn't have to be this way. <laughs> if they just decided to like switch up how we fly, like if we could just fly more practically rather than monetarily, like if you get what I'm saying, like we don't necessarily have to fly up and then across we could literally just fly across but you know when you fly when you do like layovers other people get to make money and all of the things so 
I'm just about to, I don't know, there's free Wi-Fi here. I'll probably watch something and read until it's time to get on the, the second flight. Um, second flight is seven hours, so as I said, I will do my best to close my eyes for the majority of it as well, especially since I'm going from GMT to EST and that's already a four hour difference and then I'm also going from the sun going down at 620 sharp to now the sun going down at quarter to ten sharp so I know I'm gonna be a little bit upside down and twisted but this is why we have coffee sometimes um, and I'm even on a detox I don't even know if I'm allowed to drink coffee but so far with the detox, I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. So, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Okay, so I'm finally boarding this flight on Air Canada and apparently you still have to wear a mask when it comes to Air Canada. When it came to Brussels Airline, I did not have to wear a mask, but here we are. Basically, they don't have my luggage, which I kind of had a feeling since I did two stops, one in Brussels and one in Montreal. But the funny thing is they couldn't let me get on my last one hour flight if I wasn't cleared. And so they cleared my bags. Apparently, I got on the flight, um, but my bags aren't here. So I got to wait for them to come. And then they said that they will deliver it. So we'll see how that goes. Um, this is why it's always important to pack at least one outfit in your carry-on. I did not pack an outfit, but I did put my underwears in my carry-on, so. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I'm a homebody, you know? So. Yeah. Come to the sun down there, the sun now works. It works! <laughs> was so cute eh my dad was so happy to see me i was even tearing up i was tearing up man i really miss my dad i really miss my dad like i'm definitely a daddy's girl <laughs> my little brother is so excited oh i loved it loved every second it was exactly what my soul needed exactly what my soul needed but um 
dilemma, guys. Freaking, I flew Air Canada. My luggage is lost in translation. And you know, the thing is, is I don't even think it's lost in translation. I feel like it's sitting down somewhere in the airport. And these people, like I had no idea that there was this big problem happening here at Pearson and at Billy Bishop downtown where bags were being delayed crazily. Oh my gosh, it's been two days and I don't have my luggage. Okay, I'm wearing my stepmom's clothes, my dad's clothes. <laughs> and um, I guess, I mean, you know what? What a better way to be welcomed, welcomed by family, right? But uh, yeah, you know, it's just been a, a vibe being with my sister and her boyfriend and my little brother. So cute, but also, man, these young ones, <laughs> they sure have their own minds. I'll say that. They sure have their own minds and also don't have their own minds because he's wrapped up in that TikTok wrapped up in that roblox and even like text to chat weirdness that people watch on youtube these days like what <laughs> it's even hard to get him to just watch a tv show like i grew up watching tv shows he's growing up watching i don't even know what to call it like but anyway so i'm sitting back here on the back porch my dad's few things that he's growing and um, I'm reading this book someone suggested that I read it and so I am getting into it the way of the superior man so yeah I just started last night and uh, pretty interesting so yeah that's what I'm reading I don't know who told me to ride a bike today, but I'm doing it. Back in my old hood. Let go. Loki scared, but I got this. told him it's a surprise just tell her her friend is at the door I wasn't thinking y'all on the next video please like subscribe leave a comment below if you haven't already um appreciate you <laughs>